Just a quick disclaimer here, I have no clue what I'm doing. I have never done pudding ice before, so we're going to see how we go. It says four inch, oh, I'll take this away, of the rice. Four inches of rice. And then you have to rinse it. So, so you just do a quick of rinsed rice. Then it says one ounce of sugar. Do I have a one ounce? I think that's maybe one ounce. Yes. One ounce of sugar. Then it's 750ml of milk. We, of course, are doing the evaporated milk. So what I'm doing with this is trying to get it to pour a bit faster, which is not happening. We just open a wee vent hole at the other side. Okay, so I'm just putting the evaporated milk into the jug. Okay, so it seems a tin of evaporated milk is approximately 400 milk. So I'll just go to the fridge and get some milk. Okay, 750ml of real milk and evaporated milk. We have the sugar. Let me just check instructions and see if there's anything else. Oh, butter. 10, 10 grams. Okay. So that is just basically going to be some butter. We shall get it stir. Right, it says do 40 minutes in the oven and then stir it and then do another hour. So basically it's going, oh, you know that when sometimes you don't get all the liquid out. So I'm going to put this in the slow cooker on high and we'll see how we go on. Rice pudding in the slow cooker. Oh, steam. Forgot about steam. Doesn't that look fabulous? So what we have here, I mean, it is literally just out of the slow cooker. So that's what it looks like. Just so you can see. Um, and I shall taste it soon, but I just thought I would show you that now.